with smile, we want to make the invisible visible. SMILE is a space scientific mission run into the uh, science program of, uh, of ISA and it's a mission in collaboration with, uh, between ISA and the uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences. When you look at the sun, we see this big cloud of plasma that are called coronal mass ejection. Plasma is a combination of electrons and ions that are separated, so they travel together but they are separated. The sun is emitting plasma all the time, but sometimes this plasma is very dense and in a cloud. And when this big cloud of plasma are leaving the sun and are directed towards the earth, we see them when they leave the sun and propagate for a few hours, but then we don't see them anymore. And we don't see them interacting with the earth. In Europe, we are in charge of the uh, payload module which is sitting on top of the spacecraft. Basically, it accommodates three instruments. Uh, another one is on the platform below, which is the platform uh, being under responsibility of CAS. These two elements and the platform of CAS are uh, being uh, finalized uh, at the moment. We have uh, four uh, scientific instruments on SMILE, in particular two instruments that we call in-situ instruments. One is the uh, light ion analyzer, which is analyzing the particles and the plasma uh, around uh, the spacecraft. For example, studying the density of the plasma, uh, the velocity uh, of the particles around the spacecraft to understand the state of the solar wind uh, and the magnetosphere. And a magnetometer, which is a three meter long boom, uh, which we will deploy in orbit, obviously, and the, which is measuring the uh, magnetic uh, field around the spacecraft, also to understand better the solar wind and the magnetosphere status. What makes SMILE even uh, more special is that we have two imagers on board, and this is the first time that this is being done for these kind of missions. With these two instruments, we image the uh, magnetosphere in different uh, wavelengths. And for the first time, we will do this also in X-rays, uh, which are uh, being emitted uh, when the solar wind interacts with the magnetosphere. And it emits uh, these X-rays, which we will try to image with an instrument called the soft X-ray imager, which has a wide field of view, uh, so we can see really the global view of these uh, features inside the magnetospheres uh, that are part of our environment and another instrument, uh, the ultraviolet imager, which is looking at the aurora on the north pole of the Earth. And this aurora, we will also see them in a way that the ultraviolet band uh, removes the, the day glow of the Earth. So we can see aurora uh, basically even in the day side of the Earth. To see this uh, X-ray, we need to be above the Earth and to look down. And we look down with this uh, UV instrument and with the X-ray instrument. And uh, you, you want to have a global view. This is a key aspect of SMILE, to have a global view of the Earth's magnetic field. So you need to be very high. And we go uh, up to uh, 130,000 kilometers above the pole. In October uh, this year, 2024, we have both elements coming to a stack together. It's my first time I will see the PLM in person. I've seen pictures, but not uh, in real. So I'm very excited about it. You can shake hands. Nice to meet you, PLM. Yes. <laughs> In December, we plan to integrate the payload module on the platform, which is then um, making the spacecraft into its final uh, flight configuration. So it's a major milestone, obviously.
I have mentioned the hardware part, but we should not also forget all the people uh, from China who will be hosted here in the Netherlands uh, for uh, almost a year. So uh, we have uh, between 15 and, and uh, 25 uh, Chinese colleagues who will be here supporting um, uh, the, the, the entire testing phase of the spacecraft. So they will come and work at STEC and uh, we uh, try to give them the best uh, living conditions in the Netherlands uh, nearby STEC as well. The SMILE name was uh, found by our Chinese colleague who did a simulation of the Earth's magnetic sphere and what we would see with an X-ray instrument. And this is what uh, would appear. It was reverse, it was like that because you have the Earth, uh, the Earth towards, uh, uh, towards the Sun, so the Sun is in that direction, so they turn it and then they saw a nice smile, so they call it SMILE.